The status date is a feature used to check project status at a specific point in time, and it's typically used to enter or view progress information on a past date. As you can see over here in the Gantt chart, the time scale, well, we're way back in the past, back in the year 2010. In fact, to compare that to today's date, let's come up here and click on the Project tab to the Properties group and click on Project Information. You can see that we started and finished the project back in the year 2010, as opposed to the current year, which is 2013. And there's the status date, set to NA, which is not applicable. And by default, the status date will be the current date when it's set to NA, when we don't have a date in the status date field. So what I want to do here with the status date is to be able to take a look at a specific point in time by entering a date back when we started, let's say about a week out. So August 31st, let's set the status date to September the 7th. And I want to see where we're at from that one week out, whether we were ahead of schedule with some tasks or behind. And one reason that I might want to do that is because I'm doing research. We have another project coming up in 2013, and I recall some of the resources back then who put us ahead of schedule. And if they did, then hey, let's go ahead and use them again. So to do this, what I need to do before I go ahead and set this point in time, because I'm going to be viewing this point in time over in the uh, Gantt chart as a progress line, I need to go ahead and set the status date. So again, one week out from the uh, start date is going to be 9 slash 7 slash 10. Hit the Tab key and go ahead and click Okie Dokie. Now to be able to see that status date, that progress line in the Gantt chart, I need to find a blank area and right click it. And there you go, Progress Lines, select it. And then up here on the Dates and Intervals tab, the current progress line is not showing or displaying. So go ahead and check it so we can see it. And which one do you want to see? The status date or the current date? And as you recall, we set the status date to September the 7th. So select that and click OK. And there we go. You get a red line for your status line here. And when it peaks, it means that you're either ahead of schedule or behind. When it peaks to the left, you're behind. When it peaks to the right, we're ahead. So you can see that, wow, we haven't started this task at all because you got that red circle right there showing that it's at the beginning of the task. Now, when we go ahead and we start entering in that the task has been completed, then it should go ahead and level out for that point in time or at that uh, status date, which is September the 7th. And we'll learn how to enter in a task progress in the next training video. But so you can see it here, let me go ahead and select start the manual. You can see it's supposed to start and the status date's right here. It's peaking back saying it should have started. As far as the status, it should be right up to uh, the status date. So if you come up here on the task tab, go to the schedule group and say, well, it's 100% completed here. We did start the manual. Then you can see that the status line is now even with September the 7th. It's not peaking to the left, okay? And you can come down here for examine the software and go, well, at that point in time, we did start it, but we weren't completed. Let's say we had 50% of it completed. So instead of going all the way to the left at the start date, the status line is now about halfway through. So you can see that, wow, we were really behind at that point in time on September the 7th when they only had 50% of the uh, task completed here. Okay. All right, then to go ahead and get rid of the progress line from appearing, that is the status date in the Gantt chart, right click in a blank area, go to progress lines, of course, uncheck it and then click OK, gets rid of it, and then to go ahead and have the status date revert back or default back to the current date, again, you gotta come back up here to the Project tab, to Properties, to the Project Information, and you gotta type in NA to go ahead and have that status date reflect back, revert back to the default of the current date. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.